Morning guys, Chimney Swift here. Uh, I've got a bit of a weird little vlog here. So today is, uh, what is today, let's see. Wednesday, March 9th, 2016. Um, I'm currently recording this on my phone, but it's propped up against my monitor, so I can't really show you. But my desktop computer that I built by hand in like late 2012, uh, September 2012, uh, has been running Windows 7 for th that period of time, however long that is now. What is that, like almost four years? Jeez, I gotta upgrade my computer. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's like three and a half. But anyway, so I, on Monday night, I had an indoor soccer game. I went and my indoor game was at like 10.30. I come back home and my computer, I like jiggle the mouse, thing pops up, uh, you know, my screen comes up, comes, you know, comes back on and suddenly I'm running Windows 10 and I'm like, what? What the heck? So my computer apparently auto updated to Windows 10. Um, I tweeted about it the other night and I guess some people were saying that uh, this has been happening to certain people. Uh, I believe, and I haven't looked into it a whole lot, but I believe that there's a way, if you're running a computer that's running Windows 8 or Windows 7 and you don't want to auto upgrade to Windows 10, I believe there's a way to, I mean, Google it, I don't know. But I think there's a way to sort of tell your computer, hey, don't auto update, I'm fine with my OS. Now, I panicked a little bit because the microphone software that I use for my microphone um, wasn't working initially. Thankfully, I updated the drivers and uh, it's now working with Windows 10. So as far as I know, everything that I use, all the programs I use on a daily basis for my workflow and making videos for you guys um, are still working with Windows 10. The nice thing at least about upgrading was that uh, all of my files stayed in the same place. Everything pretty much stayed the same. I just had to update a program or two or whatever. Um, Cause otherwise I was gonna like, I have to do a system restore or some some craziness. But I wanted to make this video for you guys to let you know that I'm pretty sure there is a way to tell your computer not to auto update if that's what you wanna do. Now I know Windows is like, you know, I got like it upgraded for free. Like I have Windows 10 for free, which is cool. I don't know why Windows did like a whole free upgrade thing. It's like a whole new OS, um, but whatever, I don't care. I mean, so it seems to be working Okay, but I wanted to record this vlog for you guys because I thought you would think it was kind of funny. It's like, <laughs> Jim leaves her soccer game, comes back and his computer has done its own thing, apparently. So whatever, I don't know. But yeah, that's the status of my world. Um, but I've been dealing with it for two days and it seems to be fine. So anyways, that's just the video here. So I'm gonna uh, jump on real quick and play some Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, the new Thieves Guild update came out on Monday as well, and it's really, really fun. So I'm going to play some of that for a little bit, and then uh, I'll get to recording a Revenge of the Sea Team video for you guys today as well. But yeah, just kind of wanted to make you aware of that situation that your computer, there's a good chance your computer could auto-update. So if you don't want that to happen, um, do a Google search, figure out how, <laughs> this is me typing, do a Google search and figure out how to stop it from happening. So yeah. Have a good Wednesday, everyone. See you later.